the biggest problem timeshare owners have with their timeshare is paying the rising maintenance fees every year. Paying maintenance fees can feel like a burden, but it doesn't have to. So if you want some relief, then you're in the right place because in this timeshare rental training video, I'm going to give you five options for offsetting the cost of your maintenance fees, and then you can decide which one works best for you. And just to see if you're on your toes, four of these options are legitimate, but one of them is a scam. See if you could spot it. And then I'll reveal which one it is at the end. Okay? Hi, I'm Sue Oyuela from Timeshare Rental Strategies. We're a community of savvy timeshare owners who use rental strategies to offset the cost of our maintenance fees so we can travel better. My mission is to educate, equip, and empower timeshare owners so they can enjoy using their timeshare while it pays for itself. If that's you, then be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates. Now before we get into the five options for offsetting the cost of your maintenance fees, I want to give you a quick overview of how the timeshare rental process works. And the four steps are 1. Reservation 2. Advertisement 3. Guest and 4. Income So let me elaborate on that. Assuming that we're using the fixed state strategy, we need to make a reservation with the timeshare first. Okay, so that's R for reservation. Then we need to create an advertisement on the internet and let folks know that this resort's available to rent. That's A for advertisement. Next, a guest will find that advertisement and book it. So handling the communications with the guests and then adding them to the reservation so they can check in without us being there. That's what we're going to call G for guest. Okay. And then after the guests check in, we get paid and we can use that income to put toward our maintenance fees. So that's the I for income. Great. Okay, if we turn that into an acronym, we can call it RAGI. Okay, I do not love the way that sounds, but it will make it easier to understand the process so that you can decide which method is best for you. Okay. So when it comes to offsetting the cost of our maintenance fees, we can either make less than our maintenance fees, the same amount as our maintenance fees, or more than our maintenance fees. But either way, it's a win because even if you don't make enough to cover all of your maintenance fees, at least you're reducing the amount you pay, which makes your timeshare even more affordable than it already was, right? So now we're ready to explore the five different options that you have for making money with your timeshare. And I want to look at each one from a who does what standpoint. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So starting with the timeshare rental investor method, which is essentially a do-it-yourself business model. For example, if you want to invest in your education and learn how to rent your timeshare yourself, then you as the timeshare owner will do all of the steps. You'll make the reservation with the timeshare. You'll create the advertisement and list it for rent on the internet. You'll add the guests to the reservation, and you'll keep all of the income that you make. So the timeshare rental investor method allows you to master a skill that no one can ever take away from you, which means it's an investment in your education, and because you're the timeshare owner, you're going to manage your timeshare as an investment, making sure that your timer points don't go to waste and maximizing your income, right? Now the cool thing about renting your timeshare yourself is that you don't have to share the profits with a middleman, so you get to keep more of the money that you make. So the timeshare rental investor method is by far the most lucrative timeshare rental method. But then, not everyone has the time or ability to rent it themselves because it does take some tech savviness as well as time to create the advertisements and set up the system. So in that case, there are a number of done-for-you options, each with varying degrees of risk and return on investment. So let's go over your done-for-you options now. In addition to teaching timeshare owners how to rent their timeshare themselves, we also offer a done-for-you timeshare rental service called the Maintenance Fee Relief Program. We've structured it so that we pay you to rent your timeshare for you, and this is how it works. Number one, we pay you cash up front for your points. So there's the income, boom, in your account. Then we do all the work. 
We make the reservations. We create the advertisements on the internet. We manage the guests and we take on all the risk to recoup our investment in the points that you sold us. So in terms of the acronym, instead of RAGI, where you do the work and then get the income, instead the maintenance fee relief program gives you the income first. So the acronym would be IRAG. Okay? All right. So the maintenance fee relief program gives you less income than if you rented it yourself, but still enough to almost cover the cost of your maintenance fees and with zero time invested and zero risk on your part. So all you do is decide how many points you want us to rent for you and set up your account and then we do all the rest. So what's the catch? Well, this program is only available for points-based timeshares right now. So if your timeshare qualifies, you can get a quote by clicking on the link in the show notes below to see how much you can sell your points for. And then if your timeshare doesn't qualify, you can get on the wait list to be notified when it does. Okay, next. Your third option for offsetting the cost of your maintenance fees is to use your timeshare's internal rental service. For example, Wyndham and Worldmark offer a program called Extra Holidays. And in terms of who does what, here's how it works. First, you have to make the reservation, but then you would deposit it into the Extra Holidays program. So after that, Extra Holidays advertises it. Extra Holidays manages the guests. And then when they get a booking, they simply keep 40% from the nights they rent for you, and then they deposit the rest into your account. So what's the catch? Well, you have to give them seven nights meaning you have to make a seven night reservation and then deposit it into the program. But if, for example, they only rent two of those nights, then you would lose the rest. So you'll make 60%, but just from the two nights that they rented instead of all seven, which of course reduces your income considerably. So that's something to keep in mind, okay? Okay, so your fourth option is to work with a third party corporate rental service. Now, they already have corporate clients lined up who need places to stay for their conferences and events. So they just need to connect them with the place for them to stay. So the corporate rental service provider will reach out to timeshare owners and then ask you to partner with them to provide the places to stay through your timeshare ownership. So here's how it works in terms of who does what. So you pay them for each week that you want them to rent for you. On average, it costs about $400 per week. Then you have to make the reservations with your timeshare. Okay, but then they advertise and basically find a corporate client within their database. And when they match you up successfully, then they ask you to add the guest to the reservation. And then they will pay you anywhere from $1,200 to $1,500 per week when they rent it for you. Okay, so what's the catch? Well, you have to pay up front. And if we look at this as an expense, then it becomes a five-step process that begins with an expense. So the acronym for this done-for-you rental method is ERAGI, right? And you have to do almost as much work as you would if you were renting it yourself. The only difference is that they know where to find the guests. And the last option is a points-to-cash conversion program. So some timeshares have an internal program specifically for maintenance fee offset. For example, Wyndham will pay you around 21 cents per point for any unused points you have at the end of the year. And they'll apply that directly to your maintenance fees. So there's no rental required. And then also some timeshares have rewards cards that will allow you to apply your accumulated points towards your maintenance fees as well. What's the catch? Well, this is by far the least amount of work for you, no rental needed, and bonus, it comes with the least amount of risk, it's guaranteed cash, but it also gives you the lowest return on your investment based on the significantly reduced value assigned to your points by the timeshare or rewards program. Okay, so I've presented you with five options, and my question to you now is, did you spot the scam? All right, time for the big reveal. Take a look at this chart where I've laid out each of the different programs down the left hand side and across the top we've got who does what, either you as the timeshare owner or the service provider. Alright, so 
with the Do-It-Yourself Timeshare Rental Investor Program. The timeshare owner makes the reservation, creates the advertisement, handles the guests, and collects the money. This way you know exactly how much you're making and you have complete control over everything. So, is it a legitimate program? Yes, it is. And if you'd like to enroll in it, just schedule a discovery call using the link in the show notes below this video, and I'll look forward to talking to you soon. So next, the Done For You Maintenance Fee Relief Program for Cash Up Front. So this one means you have no reservations to make. You have no listings to create. You have no guests to deal with. And you have no risk at a fair price. Just cash in your pocket with no headaches. Is this program legitimate? Yes, it is. In fact, if you'd like to get a quote, you can click the link in the show notes below. And if you have a points-based timeshare and you like your quote, then you can have cash in your account in the next three business days. Okay, so how about the internal rental service? You make the reservation and deposit it into the timeshare's rental program. Then they do the advertising, they handle the guests, and they collect the income, paying you from the proceeds. Is this program legitimate? Yes, it is. Now, not all timeshares offer an internal rental service for their owners, but you can always call and ask if this is an option for you. Okay, how about corporate timeshare rentals, where you pay cash up front to the rental service, and then you make the reservation, and you add the guest to the reservation after they match you up with one of their corporate clients from their database. Is this program legitimate? Unfortunately, no. In this arrangement, the service provider is getting paid before they do any work, and they're asking you to trust that they will pay you later. So this puts all of the risk on you as the timeshare owner. So if you get a call from a service like this, please do not agree to their terms. And if you said that corporate timeshare rentals was not legitimate, then congratulations, you spotted the scam. And of course, now you know that there are also completely legitimate points to cash conversion programs within your timeshare or rewards card program that you could take advantage of if your points are going to expire because it's better to at least get a few dollars for them instead of letting them go to waste, right? Okay, great. So now you know what your options are for turning your timeshare into an income producing investment. And based on how much work is involved, you can now make an informed decision about how much risk you're comfortable with versus the amount of income you can make. And most importantly, you know which programs are legitimate and which ones to avoid. So this is Sue Oyuela, wishing you all the best and timeshare rental success. Bye for now.